Hi everyone, I just decided to create a video regarding the gold-plated watches. Uh, it's not electronic scrap, but uh, there's a lot of gold in some of them, so it's a good option to maintain your cash flow and to earn money from scrap. But of course, as everything on the market, um, people are trying also to cheat and trying to sell um, gold-plated watches that are fake, that are not gold-plated, that uh, partially or completely gold plating is removed. Uh, so let me show you these cases. And um, I tried to uh, find and to show you different examples here. So let's start with the best gold plated watches and go to the worst cases. And at the end, I'll show you some examples of gold plated watches that are actually not gold plated or uh, it, they looked like, uh, most of them look like gold painted, not gold plated. So let's start with this one. So this one, for example, has a 20 micron uh, gold plating. It's a really good one. Uh, it's a case from a Russian. But if you carefully look at it, um, you'll see that there are some areas where gold plating is actually missing. Because these are the areas where the watch is uh, scrubbing, the, scrubbing the skin. And um, especially if it's a man watch, uh, if it's hairy, it's really easy to uh, gold plating to to disappear after a couple of years regular wearing. So uh, in this case, we have these two areas in which it's really clear that gold plating is missing. But this is really thick gold plating. 30 microns is a lot. Next example I found here, these are 12.5 microns. But um, if you look at them, you, you'll see the same as with the first one. So these are old watches. Uh, wearing is not that much here, but and they're they are quite massive. They, they are maybe 50 grams is each of these cases. But if you carefully look, you'll see that gold plating is missing in these areas, in these areas again, where the skin or uh, coats were rubbing this case and uh, slowly remove the gold plating. So this is the 12.5. Next uh, example is um, 10 plus. 10 plus means 10 microns and a little bit more. Nobody knows how much, but a little bit more. So 10 plus are really good ones. And uh, you see it's really little, um, uh, these areas where gold plating is missing are, are really small here. So this is a good case. I expect good yield of it. Next really popular example is 10 microns. Maybe this is the most popular one. 10 microns is quite standard for the Russian watches. And um, this is uh, a good example. You see some areas where gold plating is missing, but uh, in general, it's not that bad. Next example is 10 minus, which means a little bit less than 10, but nobody knows. Is it 9, 8? It's not 5, for sure, but it's a little bit less than 10. So next example is 10 minus minus, which means a little bit worse than the previous one. So in if, if you look at this case, it's the same. Always check these areas uh, where skin uh, is serving the case and um, it's a really good example. You can see here is the here is the mark. It says AU10 minus minus. Okay, and the last ones here, these ones are at about five. For example, this uh, watch uh, has five minus here written, and um, it's a really good one because you have huge surface. It's it's five, but the um, surface is huge and um, it, it was not uh, worth that much. So I expect maybe really good amount of gold in this one. There are other ones like this. They, they even don't look the same color. If I put them here just to compare with the others, you see like this one looks a little bit, gold looks like a little bit um, not that yellowish. So, uh, these ones, they are at the, I mean, sometimes you have mark AU just, sometimes you have nothing on them. 
the Russian ones, and usually they're at about 5 or less than 5 microns. Same is with this case, it's just, uh, you, you can read here only AU, so this means probably at about 5 microns, sometimes less. Same is with these two ones. So, uh, as you can see, you have, um, even, even if you have the same two cases, um, if this one was, uh, this watch was worked for 10 years and this one for one year, you'll definitely have different amount of gold from the two cases. And uh, always uh, check these um, cases. My best friend is my, is my uh, magnifying glass. I, I use this one. It has a LED and um, I always check for two things when I buy uh, cases from gold plated watches. First, if, the, if anywhere on the case you can find anything written about the gold plating thickness. For example, in this case, it's written here. It says 10 minus minus. Uh, in many other cases, it's, it's written here. Um, so like here. Uh, in some cases, it's written below, somewhere here. So just look at it and try to find any information about the thickness of the gold plating. This is the first thing. The second thing, uh, having these areas where the gold is missing uh, is good and bad. It's bad because if you buy this, uh, you'll probably not get that much gold as of a new one. But it's really good because using the magnifying glass, you can actually see the thickness of the gold plating. So always look for defects when you're, when you're buying uh, gold plated cases. If you find a defect like here, you can look with the magnifying glass and see how thick is the gold plating actually. Uh, because um, these ones that I'm showing here, they're gold plated, but uh, there are some other examples like uh, I can show you a couple of them here. Uh, there, if, if, you, if you use the, your magnifying glass, actually, if you, especially on this one, if you look at it, it, it looks like gold painted. It, it's, it doesn't look, it has a uh, thick gold plating. I mean, it looks like a really, really, maybe less than micron paint on top of it. If, if you look at others, uh, you can see the areas where people used acid to check if this is gold. So uh, this is also important. Always look at um, previous attempts of, of the previous owners to check to check them and to test these cases. If there's any area um, like this one, it's clear that acid was put here. Just someone decided to check if, if this is uh, gold plating or it's fake. And it's fake. Uh, so other thing to to look at is like like here you you have um, a defect, but if you use your magnifying glass, you see that this gold plating uh, is something like uh, at about a micron maybe. It's good one, but it's really um, not not that thick. And uh, people do something really ridiculous, like on, on this one and and the others, they they wash them. They use chemicals. They put these cases in gold stripping agents, wait for a while and remove 90% of the, of the gold. And then they sell this as uh, gold plated cases on eBay or other auctions. And people buy this, but uh, it's not fair because actually someone already took 80 or 90% of the gold and on top of it took the money to from, from, from selling good quality uh, wristwatch cases and uh, it's like a double profit and uh, you can't recognize this if, if 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 you buy on ebay because I, i'll just put this couple of here so i mean it's not it's not that it's not that bad i mean they they look similar to to these cases to, to about five microns maybe you can you can easily uh, fool yourself and of course if someone is doing really good pictures and if if someone is intentionally trying to uh, uh, fake the pictures and to show you that gold plating is better than it actually is uh, it, i mean you can't recognize this on, on ebay 
So my, my best advice if you want to buy such stuff is to look at them personally. Go to flea markets, go to garage sales, go to, I mean, even, even use auctions. But if it's in the same city where you live, just ask the person to, to check them personally before taking and um, check the package, use your magnifying glass. And uh, if, if you see some issues, just don't take them because you, you, you pay for four or five grams of gold and at the end you have 0.5, so 10%. That's, it's not fair. So next thing I will do, I will check how much gold I have in um, each of these types, 20, uh, 12.5, 10 plus, 10, 10 minus, 10 minus minus, and five. I'll, I'll pick one of these and um, I will stick the gold, melt it and uh, check how much gold do I have in uh, one of these 